Hey kids, welcome to Unit 2, Lesson 7, Accessor Methods, Exercise Number 3. Let's dive into the code and see what we have to do today. We're going to instantiate or create a dessert object called My Dessert with coconut as the flavor and a $1.75 as the price. We're going to call the accessor method to get and print the flavor of My Dessert. We're going to call the accessor method to get and print the price of my dessert. And we should get something like this to print out at the end. Well, that's not too bad. Let's start off with number one. Let's instantiate or create our object. It is an object of the dessert class. And we're going to call it my dessert. And that's going to equal a new dessert. And we're going to add two parameters. And the first one is going to be coconut. And the second one is going to be your price at $1.75. And then we just need a semicolon. Why two? Well, if we come over here, this is the two variables this class will take. Now we need to call and print that. How do we print in Java? Well, we use our system.out.println and it needs to look like it is down here and we're gonna put flavor and we have a little colon and a space and then we're gonna concatenate and we are going to call the variable. And if we go over to our dessert class here, we have price and flavor. Our get methods are price and flavor. Which method are we going to get? We want to get the my dessert object of the get flavor method. And I should spell this right like that. So we created the my dessert object, which is a coconut at a dollar seventy five. And now we want to print off that dessert object. And what method lets me get the flavor? Well, that accessor method I just wrote. That gets me my flavor. Let's do the uh, price. We need quotes, price, and then we're going to concatenate. And again, what object are we working with? Well, we're working with the my dessert. And we want to get the variable or the price. And that's under the method get price. And we close this with a parenthesis and a semicolon. Now, when I hit run, I'm creating an object, my dessert. It's a coconut and it's $1.75. Then I am printing off two statements. One's going to say flavor and it's getting that object and it's getting the variable stored there. And we're getting access to that through the get flavor method. With our price, same thing. We are creating a $1.75 object of a coconut here, and we're just getting access to that through the get price method we wrote in the last exercise. Well, let's see if I get any spelling errors, kids. Nope. It printed off just like our example over here. Key takeaway from this lesson, kids is how we access those accessor methods. In this lesson, we created an object like we have for this entire course. And we used a method to store that variable for that object and then called that variable we created. Hopefully this video helped you understand how to access the accessor methods that we created in the last exercise. As always, if you have any questions, Come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. See you later, kids. Bye. Bye.